right, everybody, it's time for a new dollar store meal. Tonight we're making Mexican corn salad. New dollar store meal. Tonight we're making Mexican corn salad. And I have all the ingredients here. We got mayonnaise from Big Lots, but I could have did better at the dollar store because they had mayonnaise for only $1. Also, I got for the uh, Big Lots, these can of jalapenos. And we got the black beans from there too, the corn. And we're gonna move over to, we got the cheese from the dollar store though, because the cheese at Big Lots was like $3. I couldn't bring myself to buy that, and I only eat like two bags. And it was like the same amount. Got a little bit of leftover olive oil from the previous episode. And you can find all the spices you need now between Big Lots and Family Dollar. I just have these at the house, so I didn't really want to keep buying spices all over again. But um, I got the family, this chili powder though at Big Lots. And it's just all these, you can find garlic powder, paprika, and cumin at Family Dollar or Big Lots. And the last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna chop up this pepper fry to be in the mix. But we're all gonna make, it's all gonna be done in this one big bowl. I drain and rinse my black beans, two cans of corn, I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper this with the salt. Okay, I went ahead and chopped up my pepper fry so it'll be smaller pites for people to eat. Now I'm gonna add I added a little bit of chili powder to the mix. Got some garlic powder. The paprika. And some cumin. Not a lot though, because cumin makes a really smoky tasting. Um I need a half cup of mayonnaise. I'm eyeballing this. It also has olive oil in it, so I'm not going to add too much more olive oil to the end of this. It's about a half cup. Alright, the last thing I'm going to add is some chopped up jalapenos. These are really hot because their seeds are still in here, so it's going to give it... It's going to give this salad a good, nice good punch in your mouth. The recipe called for the Mexican cheese. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I'm going to butcher it. Mix this all together. Make sure everything gets incorporated together. Looks pretty good. Look at all the different colors. Mighty good. Do a quick taste test to see if it needs anything else. Now I'm going to leave it like it is. It's pretty good. I like that. But feel free to add anything extra after you taste it. Because I'm doing this to my liking. You might may want it more spicier. You may want to hit up some more garlic powder. Or chili powder. Make it a little hotter. But I'm tasting the jalapenos. So I don't think I need any more seasoning. It's pretty good. Some of y'all might have seen these before. You get the guac chips. I've only seen these at the Big Lots. If you've seen this anywhere else besides Big Lots, let me know in the comments. But um, I think they're going to taste really good with this dip. Got to find the camera. It's like nice and green though. It's a good chip. Oh, broke already. Real good. Good. I like it. Two thumbs up for this recipe. Check me out next week for another dollar store meal. See you then.